quick run through of the Yeshiva at Noam application process. The process starts here at the email verification page. Enter your address here. Click Submit and then Continue. It will take you to the pre-application page. Fill in the household information using your last name as the family name, just like that, and hit Save and Continue. Now we're going to add prospects. These are the children for whom you are applying to Yeshiva at Noam. Click the Add Prospect button and fill in the information for the child. At, make sure that you select the correct grade that you are going to be applying for, and of course, this year. Hit Save and Continue. Now you have the opportunity to add another prospect. If you are applying for more than one child, please add all the children you are applying for here. If this is the only child you are applying for, hit Save and Continue. To add parent information, that is your information, and you need to add a parent both for you and your spouse. So add parent, and again we're going to fill in the information here. So two things to note. You want to leave this checked as yes so that you can get back in if you need to stop and pause your application for a little while. And the second thing is that if this is already your correct home address, if you are not living separately, then you do not need to fill in this bottom section. Instead, click Save and Continue. This will take you back to the parent information so that you can add the other parent. Add parent. And fill in the information all over again, but this time for the other parent. Like so, there are some things to point out, which is that each parent should have their own email address, preferably their own mobile phone, and again, you want to mark this that, they, yes, they should also get a user account. Again, if this parent lives at the same house address that was put in beginning under household, you do not need to fill in this section. Save and continue. On the other hand, if this is a split family and there are more than two parents, then you can add more parents. Go back in, and this time select things like stepfather, stepmother. Grandmother and grandfather are truly better done later in the application process. As I am only putting in two parents, I am going to cancel this and save and continue. This is the inquiry field. This is nice information to have, but it's really not that important. It's where you heard about us from, friends and family, and yes, put me down for information of all sorts. Save and continue. This is an opportunity for you to review your information before you submit it. If it all looks good, and to me, this looks good, we will hit Save and Continue. Or rather, in this case, Submit Inquiry. Successfully submitted the inquiry, this lovely green box shows up telling me that I can continue to the admissions portal. At the same time, I should be receiving email at emails from Veracross telling me that I have new accounts, both for me and my spouse, allowing me to log in and continue my application at a later time if I don't have time now. Right now, I have time, so I'm going to hit continue to the admissions portal. It should take me directly to the admissions portal where I can see my child, lovely Benjamin, who is the applicant, and I can look at his application. When I hit view application, I can see that there are a number of required items still for me to do. The important one here that I'm going to look at real quick is the demographic data. So if I go to complete the demographic data, I will see that I have parents, siblings, grandparents, confirmation, and finish, and I need to go through all of these. Adding parent information, again, requires that I add both parents. You can see that there's a lovely little pull down with the two parents that I have already added, and I can go through and put in the rest of their information. Now, if this stuff is the same as last time, if this person is already in there, I do not need to fill in this section. I, I do not need to fill in the home address section unless it differs from what I already put in. I need to go down here to mobile phone, business phone, college, employment, and finish just this bottom section of information. So we're going to do that real quick. And my information is in and I can continue, save and continue, which brings us back to the parent page. And we have to remember that we need to put in both parents. So add the second parent info. 
And again, we're just going to select it from here and scroll down and fill in this information, just like so. And now I can hit save and continue. Now, this puts us done for the parents. And now we can go on to siblings. If you have any, here would be where to put them. Uh, this is, sorry, if your child who is applying to the school has any siblings. If you have grandparents, this is the proper place to put the grandparents, not on the pre-app. Confirmation, just basically go over what you've done. And there's something important on the confirmation, which is this item at the bottom. Please check all applicants that the above information applies to. And then you have to click that off. Otherwise, it does not attach the parents to the applicant properly. It also won't let you move on. Hit Submit, and it takes you back to the primary application where you can then go through the other required sections. When you are all done, pay the registration fee, and that's it for your application. Best of luck. We look forward to having your child at our school. Thank you very much for watching.